All right, so here we have an Alienware X51. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get inside this unit. It can be a little tricky. Small unit, but lots of power. So on the back, uh, you've got uh, a little screw here. See this little guy here? So that's a small little screw. Yours might be black. So let's take that screw out. All right. So now we're going to put it flat. And then we're going to push the top lid back like that. See how it's separated here? All we do now is lift carefully, not too hard. There's going to be a little connector here. We're going to want to get rid of that. So disconnect that. All right. So then you got the lid off. And now you're inside the unit. You can't really see too much at this point other than the RAM module. So there is a hard drive in here. Uh, so what we can do is uh, there's a screw here and a screw here. So we can take those out and that'll get us at the hard drive if we need to get into that. So we'll take that out. We'll take that out. Okay, now we have to lift uh, a little bit more from the back because it's actually the, the video card we're taking out as well. So, all right, so straight up like that. And that don't lift too hard because there's a six pin connector here for the video card. Looks like there's a Radeon video card in this guy. It's gonna be a little button, a little latch right here. A little latch you just gotta press down and then pull straight out. You can toggle it back and forth a little bit. But yes, yeah, so you notice uh, this is where the video card has got some kind of riser that goes into the PCI Express slot on the motherboard. So anyway, and that's how we get access to ta -da, the hard drive. So anyway, that is how you get into the Alienware X51. Uh, be careful when you're putting it back in. You'll want to make sure that uh, the PCI Express um, um, part here goes into the slot uh, nicely. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.